my, my question to you, Will, is how can I get with someone that, and this, but the problem is that this person doesn't, doesn't want anything from me. Oh, you mean you're in love with someone who doesn't feel the same about you? <laughs> yeah, you know, Mel, yes, I, I do not have a concrete response, you know. She's telling me yes, but, uh, you know, we are not moving. So I will, I will tell you something. Uh, this is the problem that anyone who has a vision or a goal will encounter. You know, because the way I look at it, what is what is it about building a company or, or building a product or building your life? It's about getting people to support you, getting people to walk with you, getting people to want to be with you. You understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. When you get when you get a partner, when you get an investor, when you get clients, mm -hmm. uh, and in specific case when you feel you know attracted to a to another person um it's about how do you make your case uh to see if they if they if they see things the same way you can see them mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and and i don't see and i don't see and i and i think uh, the only way you do that is by really understanding the other person's point of view you know, it's like when you build a product, you don't build a product for yourself. You build product for the, for the user. Exactly. And, and, and that's and that's what I, I think it is, you know, and that's one thing. And the second thing is always remember there is a big market, you know, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes mm -hmm. we get obsessed uh, with something when and, and because of that obsession, we let go of so many other opportunities out there, mm -hmm. you know. And mm -hmm. I think that balance, that balance need, needs to be, to be part of it, um, mm -hmm. you know? So, so, so the, the thing is, you know, now, for example, the thing is, I know that this person is the right one. Like the, the same example, when yeah. I know, yeah. when I want to build that, this platform, you know, and I, I need, uh, every, in this moment, I need a visual designer who is able to, to create a user interface. Yes. For the platform, you know, yes. and I know this guy, works at Microsoft, for example, you know, but that's exactly the guy that I need, you yes. know, because I know that this person knows yes. how to build this user interface. Yeah. The same thing with the person when I'm in love, you know, yes. so when I think that this is the person, you know, even if it's very, very difficult, is there a possibility to, to get this person? So I, I will tell you something. There are many, there are many people that have tricks to manipulate situations. Mm -hmm. uh, I avoid those things. This is like a personal response. Yeah. Um, in my case, I usually prefer to work on understanding better how to express the values of what I want to achieve mm -hmm. and then find the right people that connect with them. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I will give you a concrete example um, that happened. Yeah. And, and by the way, I, I want you to understand that the value of anyone building anything is that concept, getting the right people to join mm -hmm. you. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you cannot solve that, um, you cannot, you cannot build anything interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and, and I'm telling you, this is the only difference between a successful entrepreneur and one that is not successful. Some people will come with many reasons, but personally, I think that's the most important part, which is how can you attract the right people around you? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and so I'll, I'll give you an example. So I was looking for um, a designer, you know, mm -hmm. to, to work on, to work on something I'm thinking and, 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 and I got introduced to an incredible designer. And mm -hmm. that was the perfect fit in my understanding for what I was trying to achieve because that person actually built something similar before. It didn't mm -hmm. work out, but at least I say, you know what, talking to that person, at least we won't make the same mistakes, okay? Mm -hmm. And I was obsessed with trying to close a deal with that person and it didn't happen. 
You know why? Because every time I was talking, that person was thinking all the reason that it didn't work. Mm -hmm. So, so he started trying, already with with a no, you know, with 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 a sensation of if I failed, mm -hmm. you will fail. So, I don't want to work on, on this project. Because if you if you succeed, it will hurt me because I will see how I couldn't make what you did. And if you fail, I will relieve my failure again. Okay. So it took me some time to understand that challenge that person was going through. But the moment I got it, you know what I did? I just looked for another one. Mm -hmm. So you let it by. Yes, let it go. And let now... I have an incredible uh, designer, you know, mm. that did incredible jobs. And we had a two hour conversation and it was bloom. Okay. Um, mm. Got my point and is willing to take the challenge. But what was good about the first failure? The first failure, I got so much pushback mm -hmm. that I had to work on how to explain clearly what I wanted. Because every time I explain, say, no, this is not going to work because of this. Okay. But this I solved like that. So when I talked to the other designers, the conversation was faster because I knew how to say it better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. even if I didn't get what I think I wanted, which was that specific first designer, but I got something better, which is, how to explain better what I wanted. Mm -hmm. So it's like we say here in Europe, when, when a door closes, a next one will open. Exactly. It's like there is, there is a thing, you never waste a good crisis. You know what I mean? I mean, when something bad happened to you, make sure you understand what can you learn from it to make yeah. things easier next time. Okay? Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. and I can tell you, trying to get that first designer on board mm -hmm. even though it was painful because i was being rejected and i couldn't understand why it was really good because then it was pretty easy to talk with any other designer you mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. i understood mm -hmm. okay this is how they're looking at it this is what they need to know so for me it was like in five minutes i was really able in one sentence to say what i wanted because I worked so hard trying to find that one sentence explaining to the first designer why I wanted to do what I wanted to do. So mm. that's a general view. But when you go at a more specific level, like you're saying, okay, I want this person to fall in love with me. I mean, I think that's the wrong approach. You cannot want someone to fall in love with you. You mm -hmm. understand? Mm -hmm. You can mm -hmm. only explain to someone why it would make sense to journey together. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And maybe they see true, maybe they don't, but you cannot force someone to fall in love with you. And actually, you know, it's like, um, and I think that's one of the best things in life when you deal with people that make a choice, you know, when you deal with uh, people that have a choice, because mm -hmm. you need to come with a compelling reason why they should join you, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be with anyone who has no other choice than join me because uh, that's pretty bad because it's not that mm -hmm. we had something interesting. It's because they had no other choice. So I prefer to work on being interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Other interesting people connect with me. You understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. Instead of to manipulate someone into being with me or being helping me that's i think i think that's a losing proposition go ahead mm -hmm. so you're meaning that you need to let this person or your employee understand why she or her needs to fall in love with you or why she or her needs to work she or uh, he exactly needs to work. because because the concept of falling in love is something about books you know it's 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 in utopia what really mm -hmm. happens is for example you and i were friends okay yes and the way mm -hmm. we met you were not trying to force me to love you and i wasn't trying to force you to love me 
You understand exactly. what I mean? Absolutely. It didn't yeah. happen that way. What happened that way, what happened is you asked me a question. I answered. Yeah. You say, what do you what what are you trying to achieve? And I told you, oh, I'm working on this. And then you say, oh, I'm working on this. And the way we answered, there was a connection because we shared values. And we mm-hmm. understood that through interaction, I can help you be a better person. You can help me be a better person. And because mm-hmm. of that, we keep moving. And the moment, the mm-hmm. moment that shared connection, that means if you start doing things that are no longer interesting for me, and I start doing things that are no longer interesting for you, we will go apart. And that's cool. So the thing is, and I say this in any relationship, and it's the same relationship with your clients, the same relationship with your with your investors, the same relationship with with your teammates. You know, is mm-hmm. if you want to hang out with cool, interesting people, you better be uh, have great values, have great objectives, and trying to solve cool things or achieve cool things, so those cool people realize it makes sense to hang out with you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I got the point. And you get again to the most important thing, which is what you can manage, which is you. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, which so is work, you. Work, working on yourself. Of course. You understand? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I didn't get that first designer for so many reasons. It doesn't matter. But mm-hmm. what I get is how can I find another designer by explaining faster, better, clearer what I want to achieve and why it's exciting. And then when I went and, 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 and tried to work with five different designers, I was able to pick the one that got my point and was pretty damn good. You know, mm-hmm. because struggling with the first one helped me understand how to do it better. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay, wonderful. You know, in, in, the, in, the mm-hmm. end, in the end, every interaction is an opportunity to be closer to where you want to go. Mm-hmm. That's how I did it. Even, even when you think you didn't get anything, mm. actually it's an opportunity to realize what is it that I need to work on. Yes, that's, that's, no? that's a good point. So, you know, you, so how did you train yourself when you had your first conversation in finding out the first sentence that he uh, was able to understand you clearly exactly exactly what you wanted to achieve. Because I was getting rejected. I mean, every time I say, mm-hmm. I want to do this, no, it's going to work. It's not going to work because, okay, mm-hmm. what is the user finding? Okay, mm-hmm. uh, why mm-hmm. would the user use, why would, what would you, this product change people's life? Okay, mm-hmm. it, it's not mm-hmm. clear. So the thing is, I had it in my head, but I was I getting rejected, forced mm-hmm. me to come up with a compelling reason. And when I realized that I answered everything and that designer was still saying no, mm-hmm. I realized it's because the designer didn't want to work with me. Mm-hmm. And the designer made it pretty clear. They said, this is not a project I want to be part of because it, there's no fit. But, but I finally got to that point where I said, I don't want to work with you. But until then, what was great is I was able to really refine and simplify mm-hmm. what I want to achieve. So then when I open up the game again and work after mm-hmm. f- the five best designers I would want to work with, the conversation was totally different, you know, because I, I knew very from the beginning, what are the things they're going to ask me that I need to answer before they ask me? Mm-hmm. And then I was able to pick the person that was the most and ent- enthusiastic about why I want to build this product because they yeah. understand that they want this solution as well to have mm-hmm. the impact. And that's incredible. You know, mm-hmm. it was like and, an explosion, you know, when it, you know, when it comes together, then it, it... that's, that's what I mean. You know, <clears throat> it's always, there's always more opportunities waiting for you. Mm-hmm than the one you're trying to fight with, okay? It's like, so I like, there's, there's a game called Go. I don't know if you know about it, but there's a game called Go, which is an interesting game. I find it more interesting than chess because I think chess is too confrontational and it mm-hmm. develops the wrong kind of thinking. Go is more 
there's more harmony in Go and things like that. I'm pretty bad at it, um, mm -hmm. but I, I like playing it, but I'm really bad mm -hmm. at it. <laughs> and 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 one of the one of the great principle of go why it's so hard to be good at it is because most of the time we prefer to fight a battle we're losing instead of jumping in an opportunity that we're not looking at okay mm -hmm. so what you learn in go is the best strategic decision is to stop fighting the ones you will lose and move mm. fast to the opportunities that are still available. Mm -hmm. But I think, you know, that's, I, I can, you know, right now that I'm in this situation, you know, the thing is, you know, how do you know that you will lose this battle? You know, you, you know what I mean? Because right yes. now, of course, you know, for from other people outside, Everyone is telling you, you know, it's still, you know, David, let it go, man. It doesn't work. It doesn't work because of this, of that, and all of this, you know. But, you know, you, that you're playing the main role in this act, in this, you think, okay, you can think, well, maybe it's a hard battle, you know, very, very yeah. hard. But why do I need to know and give it up just the beginning and say, no, I'm losing this battle already, you know? Exactly. You know, you know what I mean? I got it perfectly because, because that is the thing you work all your life on. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first principle mm -hmm. is understanding that it's better to stop wasting energy on a losing proposition mm -hmm. and jumping as fast as I can where there are still opportunities. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's mm -hmm. the first proposition. But the second proposition of that means I have to become every day better and better at, at reading situations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, that's the second thing I need to work on because mm -hmm. I need to make that first decision, which is do I keep putting energy or do I change? The second thing, and which is the foundational thing you need to work on, is how to read a situation. Mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and 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 i think that's tougher because to read a situation is to learn how to read yourself okay mm -hmm. because the reason we can not see what's going on is because we have all type of biases mm -hmm. in the brain projecting on reality things that are not there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. it's the mm -hmm. same thing in investment the same thing in trading the same thing mm. in finance, you know, is mm -hmm. how do I realize where to put my money to work? You know, is this a good bet? Is this a good investment? Is this a good application of my time and energy, which mm -hmm. is a resource allocation problem? So the thing is, this is something for the whole life. What, how do I work on understanding better? which fight to fight and which fight not to fight. I know you love Steve Jobs. Mm -hmm. And Steve Jobs said that the only strategic decision you make is what to say no to. Is learning what to say no. Because he said, you have many opportunities. Mm -hmm. And usually the bad opportunities are very simple. Okay? Yeah. They're pretty bad, mm -hmm. so you don't have to choose. Exactly. The difficult one are they all look great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Same or two. That's mm -hmm. true. That is strategy because that is which one do I close so I can concentrate my energy on the mm -hmm. one that pays the more. And this is a lifelong continuing exercise. Exercise. Okay. And, you know. and you will make mistakes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because that's exactly the point. Even if I have those three choices and I rejected the other one because they were bad since the beginning, they were you know? obviously bad. Yeah. But then I say no. I from these three, I choose this one. But you know, it could also be possible that it was also a hard battle. You know, yes. a battle that already lost. But then you mean I need to learn for next time that maybe I didn't choose the first one, but maybe the third one. I'm telling you something, Be making money, accumulating wealth, 
being a successful decision maker is solving this problem in your life is understanding mm -hmm. better and better every time which mm -hmm. battle to commit to and which battle not to commit to mm -hmm. where do i put my energy where do i don't put my energy where do i put my money where i don't put my money and mm -hmm. the one that are obviously bad it's okay the problem is those who look great mm -hmm. and they all look, but you cannot be in all of them at the same time just one you have to choose you have to concentrate mm -hmm. if you want to really win big you have to concentrate diversification is how people selling financial product make money if you mm -hmm. are investing resources you have limited resources so what you really want is to put it where it will pay the most mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. where your time will pay the most where your energy will pay the most where your love will pay the most where whatever it is that you're doing will pay the most Mm -hmm. So understanding how to read a situation is actually what makes you an entrepreneur. It's actually what mm -hmm. makes you a financier. It's actually what, what big bring you wealth. It's actually why you accumulate more resources because you're a better resource allocator. Mm -hmm. you understand? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. this is what you actually need to commit your life to long term until the day you mm -hmm. die. Because this is mm -hmm. the only thing that will make the difference between you accumulating more than the rest. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. Mm -hmm. But it's wow. really tough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is really tough. You understand? Mm -hmm. I'll give mm -hmm. you an example. Okay, so a bunch of people <clears> talking, <throat> you know, Steve Jobs, oh, great design, genius. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, Zuckerberg, <laughs> Facebook, oh my God. Or you talk about uh, uh, Elon uh, Musk, for example. Elon Musk. Or you talk about uh, uh, um, uh, the guy from Amazon. Uh, um, Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos. Oh my God, genius. But I'll tell you why they're genius. It's about allocating resources, okay? And it's so <laughs> important that Facebook started accelerating when Sagarag understood, I need to get away from Boston and go to San Francisco. <laughs> because the most, the resources that I need are engineers. Mm -hmm. And the engineers for what I need are in San Francisco. The type of investors that I need are internet investors. And the internet investors are in San Francisco. So if as an entrepreneur, I'm pretty good at allocating resources and attracting resources to be allocated. Where do I need to be? Where those things are. Mm -hmm. So in the end, it's really about allocating resources, allocating your time, because he understood that spending time, which is the resource he has in San Francisco to convince people to support my idea will pay me more than staying here in Boston. Mm -hmm. So he made the decision. Mm -hmm. and, you, and you can you can actually follow Facebook growth by the type of key uh, employees that he was able to attract. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the, the thing the thing about, about managing resources and, 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 and having people commit to your to your thing is so important that but again, it's like I'm saying, it's not only about people. It's yeah. what, are, what are the fights you need to fight? And, and what, like I'm saying, attracting credible people mm -hmm. is about you becoming more interesting instead of trying to trick people into mm -hmm. joining you. Mm -hmm. Work mm -hmm. on more interesting ideas. Make your idea more interesting or learn how, if your idea is already interesting, learn how to express it in a way that people understand why it's interesting mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know and so, and, and yeah. i like that the fact that 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 you deal with people who needs to make a choice because it forces you to become better at whatever it is that you're doing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah so sometimes you need i don't know if it, if it is the right word but it's the first word that comes in my mind like to give up and maybe make a, a, a next step to find out that maybe this was a bad strategy. 
right? Express it another way because I, I, I want to make sure I understand what you're saying. So, you know, um, you, sometimes you need to give up in this battle that you're in and, uh -huh. you know, move away to the next one. Even if it hurts this one, even if you said, you know, this was the right guy to solve this kind of problem and I'm fighting, you know, but he doesn't want, you know, so I need to stop, you know, go away, let it go and go into another strategy. Okay, so I think I understand. And I would say yes, but let me open it more. Yes. I think the most important thing is to, un is to develop how to make that decision. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because like you said, maybe you gave up too early. <laughs> how do you know? When exactly, it's that, 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 that's the problem, you know? So, you, so you're in and you know, sometimes that from 10 response that you get from him, Maybe at the beginning they were all 10 and no, but after two days from 10 response that were negative, only two now are negative. You know what I mean? And then maybe yes. after the next day, they're all yes. maybe just one. So, you know, it's like, it's like the market right now. It's go up, it's going down. So you'd know, you don't know if you give up, it was too early, or should I continue? That's exactly you know, like, right. And that's exactly the point where I am. Should I go or should I left? But what, what, what I'm saying actually is mm. being better at mm -hmm. making that decision is how you actually win. Mm -hmm. Your job, you know, it's like, what is the job of a, of a, of a, of a, of a, of a number nine in a football team? How to make goal. more goals, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you're in the game of accumulating wealth, if you're in the game of managing resources, what is the skill you need to develop to know which fight to fight and which fight not to fight? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, yes. the dilemma yeah. you're trying to solve is actually you will spend your life until the day you die to try to know faster and with more mm -hmm. certainty which are the fight that are worth fighting. Mm -hmm. So because when next time will happen the same situa situation that I am in, I know that that's our, it's not worth it fighting because I knew, I no, know because that you develop, be, Because you develop a way to read mm -hmm. situations mm -hmm. better for mm -hmm. you. Because this you understood is, before. Exactly. Mm -hmm. This is the job. I want you to understand that One, the job, the job yeah. of an entrepreneur or of a resource manager, however you want to call it, is this ability. The ability to make that decision. Mm -hmm. Where do I commit and where do I move on? <laughs> mm -hmm. Sound pretty simple. Okay. Mm -hmm. But that's all it is, because sometimes you need to commit, even when everybody else is telling you it doesn't make sense, but you understand that's what you need to be doing. And mm -hmm. sometimes you move on, okay? And mm -hmm. it has to do with the ability to understand one step, two step, three step, four step, what will happen, mm -hmm. okay? So let's say you say, I want, I want, this person to be on board. Mm -hmm. You have to be careful that mm -hmm. you just, you're just pushing because they told you no, because someone, when someone say no, actually what it does to you is, oh, I want to prove you yes. Mm -hmm. That's the first mistake, okay? Mm -hmm. Say mm -hmm. no, because they say no, oh, okay, I'm going to prove you yes. First, first big, big, big failure. Okay. Okay, that person mm -hmm. said no, so let me understand. So that means I will make an effort to, to show them what I have. Mm -hmm. Now, if that person says yes, where does it take me in the next step? And maybe you realize if that person says yes, but the next step won't be that right person for you. Mm -hmm. And then you drop, okay? Mm -hmm. And then you say, oh, that person say yes. The next step is yes. What is the third step? Would it still be a good thing for me? 
and then you drop because that's how you solve. Because if you have three options, you need to keep moving step ahead until only one option still makes mm -hmm. sense. And that's the one you follow. Uh, okay. You need to be mm -hmm. trying. You will be wrong. It doesn't, it doesn't matter if you get it right or wrong at the beginning. But mm -hmm. what matters is that you're developing mm -hmm. that understanding that if I need to make a choice, I need mm -hmm. to keep moving. Okay, those three choices make sense now. Next step, do they still make sense? And you try to push as many steps until one makes sense and the other two. And the one that remain, that's the one you pursue. I got it. Wow, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. yes. that's, why, yes. that's why it's so much about the ability to read the situation, not just what's going on right now. Because I could have said, you know what? Since I cannot talk to a designer, mm -hmm. let's not talk to a designer. I'll do it myself. And then I understood. Now, you need to talk to a designer. Mm -hmm. Because not talking to a designer is a bad decision. You need to talk to a designer. So what do you want to do? So what you need to be doing is how to speak better to designers. And that's the only way to do that is to speak to more designers. Mm -hmm. To understand how to talk, in which language. How, like, a tech, you like, a, like in the engineer, they use different technology stacks. You know, exactly. they use the first one. I got it, yes. So then the goal mm -hmm. came for me, not finding a designer, but mm -hmm. how to speak better to designers. Exactly. To transform the problem. Because mm -hmm. speaking designer's language at a high level with the best is something I need to solve. Mm -hmm. So I have mm -hmm. to continue committing. I have to continue pushing the energy. I'm not just going away and trying to solve another thing because I have many things I need to solve. Mm -hmm. But then mm -hmm. I understand why I keep pushing on designers is great because not only will I find the designer, but I will develop through the process the language. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So really what it is, is... So you know what I understood right now, maybe it's wrong, but in the process, learning by doing, right? Learning in the well, process. That never stops. The only mm -hmm. reason we're moving is to learn. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, that never mm -hmm. stops. But mm -hmm. what are we learning? We're learning mm -hmm. how to make better decisions. Yes, yes, yes. So for example, in a relationship, you behave this way and you know that it was wrong and the next time that come the same situation, you know how to behave then. You, you behave have to different. Always, exactly, you have to always be serving others, not yes. others serving you, okay? Mm -hmm. But that, that, that's, that's complicated sometimes, you know? You know that? Because, you know, it's a fight against your ego, you know? And uh, I, I think that's also a fight, you know? Because sometimes when you say you give, 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 you know? But then it doesn't come back without expecting it, but you know, you're trying, you're trying, you're trying. And then it doesn't come back anything, so then you lose like the energy. Can this, can this be? Oh, so that means you were not giving. Okay. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> because if the goal was giving and the person yeah. received, that's it. Now, mm -hmm. if your goal was to receive back, then you have trouble. <laughs> because so, if you were giving... Exactly. Mm. If you were giving and nothing came back, nothing happened because you got your goal, which was giving. Mm. Mm. So if you if you feel bad that you didn't receive anything, that means you were not giving. But that's not what we're talking about. That's something. Else. <laughs> what we're talking okay. about is very more more. It's much more specific. What we're talking about is when I'm communicating with people, mm -hmm. I need to be serving their language. I need to be serving. It's like, I need, I need to make the effort. Will, Will needs to make the effort to explain to anyone else why it would make sense for them to be part of what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I approach it from the way of telling them, I want this, I already lost. Okay, because the best talent have a lot of choices. Mm -hmm. And they need to be picking which project to commit to. 
Mm -hmm. And your job is to find those very interesting people and make them understand very fast why it served them to help you out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So all the time, it's about work on interesting things that make sense and then work on how to express it in a way that people understand why it makes sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know? And then when you get rejection, it doesn't matter because you're learning how to say it better. Mm -hmm. But you know, the very interesting point was when you talked about, um, for example, Mark Zuckerberg moving from Boston to, to San Francisco because yes. that was the place where he was looking for, for the people, you know? Yes. But I think nowadays maybe it's also more easy for us, you know, also with, uh, with this pandemic that we, that we have with the coronavirus, we have the possibility to, you know, to meet each other, you know, maybe through Skype. Of course, it's not the same when you meet this in person, but I think it's a good start. Well, so Or, the, mean, the mean may change, but what will always be the trouble mm -hmm. is I need to be allocating resources. So it's two problems. Where do I need to allocate them? On what project? That's the first thing. And the second thing is how do I attract them? How do mm. I, how do resource come to me to be allocated to the things that make sense? So for Zuckerberg was moving to Bo from Boston to San Francisco, for someone else, it will be something else. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. I don't think everybody will have the same responses. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. But those two problems will always be the same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, those yes. two problems will always be the same. How do you know what to work on? <laughs> And mm -hmm. how do you find the resources to work on them? Mm -hmm. And you'll okay. need to be working on those two things for the rest of your life. Wonderful. And the better you are at them, the more the more things. So come again, you know, the first thing is what working on and finding the resources to create what yes. you what you want to be. Okay. Exactly. Wow. Okay, that's was. And and yeah. I and it's it's no different, you know. It's like uh, in any relationship, you know. Like I said, look at our relationship. Why does it make sense? It mm -hmm. makes sense not because we're manipulating each other. It's just because through conversation, we help each other figure out things. Mm -hmm. You know, my life is better knowing you, your life is better knowing me. Mm -hmm. And that's all there is. Mm -hmm. you understand? Mm -hmm. It's not about, let me, let me trick you into, no, bro. smart people don't get tricked that easy. Mm -hmm. You can trick them for some time, but then they realize and they move on. Exactly. You know, so it's not really about, oh, if that person doesn't want to be with me, Uh, uh, what do I do to make them want to be with me? No, is let me explain what I want. This is what I want. This is the type of life I want. This is the type of relationship I want. Anyone who wants that type of relationship should be attracted to that. Mm -hmm. And then it's not happening. Then you need to ask yourself. So if what I want is to build a family, if what I want is to build this trustful relationship, mm -hmm. Is if that person say yes, will that be okay or not? And then you realize maybe you need to move on because the worst thing that could happen to you is that person to say yes. Because mm. they will never be up to the task of the second step, third and fourth step. Mm. Mm. Sometimes yes. you don't wow. know. So mm -hmm. you stay until you know. You understand? Sometimes you don't know. That's what the thing. One, sometimes you don't have enough information to make a decision. So your job is to stay on the problem until you find enough data to make the choice. But once the data is there, it's clear. You make your choice. Exactly. What, you understand? Mm -hmm. And, and mm -hmm. those, those are the type of things, you know. It's like uh, things that you need to be making decisions. Mm -hmm. So you either have enough data to make enough decision or you're working on finding the data to make the decision. <laughs> <laughs> That's simple, okay. Yes, I, got, I, got, I think I got the point perfect. Yes, 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 yes. And, and when you have competing priorities, 
So if I cannot make, if they're all interesting at the first step, let me go. Okay, the second step, what will happen? And then you will see one another one drop. No, the one, this one is good for step one, but for step two, it's not that good. So I still have two competing. So what about the stage step three? And then, oh, there's only one remaining. So that's the one I need to follow. Mm -hmm. And if you can, and if you don't have enough data to keep moving step one, two, three, your job is to be collecting the data so you can actually push the analysis on step two. Mm. And then you will make mistakes. It's, it's okay to make mistakes because with time you will be better at mm. understanding which data you need, mm -hmm. understanding and, and being able to look more step ahead, you know? Mm. Um, mm -hmm. And then your process will get better with time. You will make less mistakes, mm. but you have to understand mm -hmm. it's a it's a lifelong commitment. Mm -hmm. You don't even look at result. You just you just focus on what you need to do. Result will happen. Mm -hmm. okay? mm -hmm. Result mm -hmm. will happen. Mm -hmm. If you're a great player, you will you will play each situation better, mm -hmm. and then result will come. Mm -hmm. Wow! Wow! Was well, a great one. I, I I think I got I got you know the the, the mindset. Mm. I think I got it. I like yeah. that answer. I I got the mindset. You know how to to go through the, this right now. Yes. Oh. That was the for me for myself that I'm in this yes. situation right now was a very very intense conversation. Yes. And you know all the conversation that we had. You know. I take it to me in my back, you know, and trying yeah. to use it as much as possible. But this one was really something, you know, that it's really heavy, and mm -hmm. I think I will, I, I will need it, absolutely. So was, uh, yeah, that that was uh, I. I need. I got the mindset. It's yeah. heavy for you, and it's still heavy for me until this day. You yes. understand? Yeah. Because yes. what we do is we keep. We keep lifting more and more weight. Exactly, exactly. But at least you know what the job is about. Yes, exactly. And the, the job is about making decisions, which is which battle to fight and which battle not to fight, where to commit energy and where to stop committing energy. So that's the first mm -hmm. level. The second level is working hard on reading more steps on what are the ones that are that make sense to keep pushing, you know? How to mm. choose those ones. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Between opportunities. And to stop fighting the ones that are not good for you, step one, three, four down the road, mm -hmm. and those that become better outcomes, step one, two, three, four down the road, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Once mm -hmm. That in step one don't make sense those are never the problem because those are self by themselves you realize that this doesn't make sense you know mm -hmm. the better and the be the people that are better is because they're able to in a more clearer path mm -hmm. side longer term mm -hmm. one of the things that make sense and what you know? and what other things that doesn't make sense don't make sense longer term longer term mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. because longer term, those things make sense, then you act today on them. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's what yes. that's what it is. And, 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 and those are the type of things that help the human race, you know, make better decisions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If, wow. you, if you understand that, you know, and, and I think the, the way we have, and, and it's really tough because the way decision making is built, you have so many attractors to optimize short term and forget long term. So mm. that means wow. if you can optimize long term mm -hmm. while operating short term, you have a tremendous advantage. You have a tremendous advantage because the whole thing is built to force short-term thinking. Mm -hmm. So again, can you can you explain this one again? I I, I think yes. I, I, you know. So, so you said 
thinking in a in a long term version is more useful for you because the world you know foc is focused on short term decision is what you mentors so let's say let's say it that way mm. Mm. you're trying to optimize yes and i will simplify i will just jump ahead and tell you what you're optimizing your only thing that a human being needs to be really optimizing is time is the use of time mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because with enough time you can do anything okay whatever it is mm -hmm. if you have enough time you will achieve it the problem is you don't have time mm -hmm. okay so what you're really trying to decide is where do i put my time mm -hmm. on which skill on which relationship on which project on which you understand mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so really what we're trying to decide is where to put time okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. now you need to decide where do i put my time you can decide i have three options okay let's say i i want i want to i want a relationship with with someone else i, I want to have a love relationship or i want to hire uh, 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 an employee or i want to partner with someone or i want to mm -hmm. attract a certain investors okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you might say let me work on my short-term objective my short-term objective is i want this girl or this man to be with me right now okay mm -hmm. this weekend because i'm going on a weekend and i and i need a great partner mm -hmm. or i need to be paying my bills so i need this investor to give me the money right now or mm -hmm. i need to develop this app so i need this engineer to tell me yes right now okay these are short term for you this is short term okay mm -hmm. but the mm -hmm. thing is what is it that i want longer term so okay so i go on this great weekend mm -hmm. now do i want to go again on another weekend or am i looking for a stable relationship mm -hmm. or am i looking for someone that actually can help me uh, working on this project or working on this aspect of my life mm -hmm. okay those mm -hmm. are step ahead mm -hmm. Am mm -hmm. I looking for an engineer that can solve the app and can later become full-time employee or not? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Am I looking mm -hmm. for an engineer that can become full-time employee but is also interested in this industry or just doing it because they need that extra money and they don't like the industry and they will never be a full-time employee? Mm -hmm. Okay, those are step yeah. one to three. Mm -hmm. okay. So if you need to pick three engineers, you better pick the one to try to convince the one that can build it, can be a full-time employee and love the industry. Yes. Even if it <laughs> takes you longer to convince mm -hmm. this one, but when you do it, long-term you're making, you've made a better decision long-term because you will not have to spend again that energy because if you have a guy build the app and then it doesn't want to be a full-time employee, uh, but that's what you were looking for in the second step. Mm -hmm. You should be spending energy. If, they, if that person said no, you would just say, okay, let me just let go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I got another part. Yes. So, yes, yes. so the thing about knowing where to allocate your time to solve things has to do with how much you understand what your next steps will be. Mm -hmm. Because okay. as you understand what your next steps will be, you will be able to decide better where to allocate your energy. Mm -hmm. That's why it's so important before you start anything to have more clarity on where is it that you want to go. Because mm -hmm. that way you can look into the future and bring that future today and see if that decision is aligned with it or not. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Wow. You know? Yes, 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 yes. So, yes. so we have competing priorities for our time. Mm -hmm. okay? And people say time is money. For me, it's bullshit. <laughs> and there's nothing compared with time. Mm -hmm. 
So that's the most biggest wealth that we have. Exactly. Money is just an expression of time. But time is beyond money. I'll give you an example why money is an expression of time. So if I can pay an engineer's salary, Mm -hmm. what I do with that salary is actually I didn't have to go four or five years to become an engineer plus five years of knowing how to program well. So I just, by paying a salary, just grab 10 years of my life. I saved 10 years of my life. my life. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Because I need exactly. money to replace that. Mm-hmm. Okay? Exactly. Because in 10 years, you, you didn't know what happened. Maybe in 10 years, someone else had the same idea like you, and then you, you lose time know, with the, all those things came up. Money, exactly. exactly. Wow, wow. By so money, time who, is the most important thing that, that there's is, nothing comparable with anything. In the universe, the only variable is time. Wow, wow, and that was a good example, exactly. You pay someone at free to save maybe a couple of years of your life so that you didn't, didn't need to learn how it works and how to create you go. yourself, there but you, you go. had a guy that, oh, okay. That's why when people start a business mm. or when people start in life, mm-hmm. they always think that they're poor, so they look for investors, and they're crazy. <laughs> Because you're already rich because you have whatever amount of time you still have. And that's what you need to be learning what to do with. What do I do with my time? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You allocate your time well, you will be doing things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Money. money is just another way of playing with time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. this conversation okay mm-hmm. through this conversation you and i were exchanging as much as we can what we've learned through time and mistakes mm-hmm. 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 But by you capturing that you actually go and use it and exactly. you actually took all that resource, which is you don't have to go to the time that it took me to understand those things. To, to, to be clearly, you know, through this conversation, maybe I learned something that from now I will use it. So I will do the same mistake that I would do like one hour before, you know, before this conversation, because maybe tomorrow I would stand up and say, you know, I still go there, but tomorrow I will, you know, wake up hopefully, you know, with another mindset, you know, and trying to do this and saving maybe three or five months of my life. Um, uh, 10 years. Or, or, or years, you know, exactly. Say It's like a friend of mine was, was, was building an incredible, I think he's gonna, he's, I think he's gonna, he's gonna be incredibly successful because he has a spectacular marketing mind, okay? Um, there's a difference between design, product design and marketing, okay? Product mm-hmm. design for me is understanding what, what a great product is. And, mm-hmm. and for me, marketing is about the messaging, you know, mm-hmm. is understanding how to position whatever that product to the right person, okay? Mm-hmm. And I think this guy is a marketing genius. And he think, he thought he needed money. And I told him, you have something better than money. You have a great messaging. You, you understand what people, you understand how to make people connect to things. He understands mm-hmm. how to make people connect to products. He understands how to make people connect to other people. He understands mm-hmm. how to make people connect to a moment in life. He does, but he doesn't realize he has it. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I told him, why you need the money? He needs the money so he can pay people. And I said, yeah, but the thing is, you, if you understand that you can make people connect with what you're building, you, you don't even need to give them money <laughs> because they will do it for you. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Because you connect them. You're connecting them because that's, that's what you have. So spend your energy on being better at that. Mm-hmm. You know, Be- because again, it's all about time. I'm, I'm telling you, it's all about time because if you have enough time, you can do whatever you want. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The problem is you don't have time because you need to pay the bill. So the bill will get you out of the game before you solve it. <laughs> <laughs> you what I mean? exactly. 
and oh, your time is limited because you don't know how much time you have. You know, here we go. You know, so you don't know. Here you go. But the thing is, you know, you know, I, I, my teacher said once, you know, that we never, you know, we think about, you know, sometimes, you know, the humanity thinks what will happen when we die, you know, yes. Yes. but no one actually, you know, it's one hundred percent sure that he will die or she will die. You know exactly. No you know, one admits it. Exactly because you think, okay, no, I have time, man. You know. I have time. You do. And, and then when it happened, boom, boom, that's it. And then you say, oh my god, if I thought before, but that's that's the That's then. that's done. That's done. Okay, you that's know. done. So really, wow. once you understand that variable, we go back to principle number one. Mm -hmm. Which is, so if time is limited and time is the most precious thing in life, mm -hmm. what do I do with my time? Mm -hmm. What do I say yes to? What do I say no to? What do I continue pushing? What do I don't continue pushing? Mm -hmm. And then since that is the real trouble, which is a resource allocation trouble, what's my, what's my second derivative of that? What's my first derivative of that? How do I make that first decision faster? And the way you make that first decision faster is by understanding longer term what's good for you so you can apply it in the present. Wow. And when really? you start doing that exercise all the time, mm -hmm. you will be, become better at pushing out what doesn't make sense, working on things that make sense, even if they look hard, mm -hmm. because you know long term, they're exponential growth. For your mm -hmm. life, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, that that's also I think hard. You know, training all the time. You know, constantly. You know, you know, all the time. You know, this is a learning training. game. It yeah. is a learning game. <laughs> that's the life. Learning life is a learning game. Exactly. There's never ever a fixed answer. Wow. Never. That's all. That's also. We can say there are only perspectives. There is only perspective. That's that's reality. But what 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 makes it that there are only perspective is mm -hmm. because there is never a fixed answer. Because the the universe in itself is infinite. So that means there's no fixed point. That means everything is constantly dynamic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. this is a learning game. This is not a game about let me get the most with what I know today. This is a game about how much more can I learn within the mm. limit. Mm -hmm. To satisfy that question of learning, you end up pushing boundaries. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. a learning game. It's mm -hmm. never ending learning game. It never ends. Exactly. That is never. learning game. That means you're always a student. So that's why I, wow. I laugh at people calling that, themselves that, masters. That, that, <laughs> that, 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 that's, that's a good one. We are always students. That's the right. I laugh at people calling themselves wow. masters. I Where think that, they are. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know if you, if you thought about that, but I think that's a great, you know, how can I say, and, you know, we are always students. Of course, bro. The moment you're a master, that means you limit your world. Exactly. Exactly. So you know that's how the talk you 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 did. You know why knowledge is a prison. Why knowledge is a prison. And that's a great that's a great conversation. Man, you know, wonderful. Yeah. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you very okay, much. Okay, so go and go and go and solve this thing. Yeah. By working on yourself. You understand? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Thank you very 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 Take much. Take care, my brother. Same to you, brother. Bye bye. Bye.